and welcome back everybody. It is time to get cooking and today we are joined by Chef Maria from Boca Tacos e Tequila. Hello. Hello. How you happy, doing? Happy St. Patrick's Day. I know, I know. So when I got invited to do this, I'm like, uh, I don't cook. Yeah, mm. So I went <laughs> for the <laughs> green salsa. I love it. I mean, right, St. Patrick's Day, everything's green, so what better than... I did a green salsa because I think it will uh, be super good with, um, what's it called? Corned beef. Yes. There you go. There Actually, you go. I, I, my son's grandpa, um, his birthday is around uh, this time, and he loves corned beef and cabbage. Really? Yeah, no. Not your thing? Well, I eat it. Of I'm course. not going to lie yeah. to you, but no. no. It's not like, mm, corned beef and cabbage. No, no. Uh -uh. No, no. And I thought, what better to complement the corned beef than my green salsa? Oh, so yeah. it's very easy. Uh, either you can do it in a blender or you can do it, you know, just like me, yeah, just, just chopping it. Uh, you can do it super liquidy. Uh -huh. And it's everything green that you can find in your pantry. So it's Anaheim's, Poblano's, Tomatillo's. Uh, if you want it spicy, you can do a jalapeno. We got parsley and um, cilantro. I put a little bit of lime. Uh, garlic powder and salt. Okay. And uh, a little bit of jugo magi. That's what like is that? a jugo magi is like a it's a me Mexican seasoning. Oh. It okay. brings I think I don't know maybe I'm crazy. The you know the it brings it all together. Can it I gives, smell it? I'm yeah. so curious as to what <laughs> it smells like. What? It's a soy I base actually. To, yeah, it smells a little it, kind of like soy. a soy sauce. Yeah, it like is. It's pretty much sauce. yeah. Okay. So I put a little bit of that and yeah. uh, that's it. So oh, this okay. salsa, I thought it was uh, perfect for tomorrow or, you know, because there's a Whatever lot of you leftovers. Celebrate. You yeah. Know? And uh, hopefully you guys and everybody has a safe yet fun St. Patrick's Day. And now in Fourth Avenue, so uh, it gets bananas. Does it really? Yeah, it does. Well, in the uh, previous years, we had uh, the Tucson Fire Pipes and Drums. Uh huh. To, come and like literally take over my patio. So, um, Do you, are you doing it this year? Uh, I haven't heard the last, uh, phone call. It's just, I mean, they're on shift. Yeah. So, you know, people are, but hopefully we'll get something going on. Get something going for celebration. And then we're going to have the green beer. So why not? Ooh, fun. Now, do you guys, do you always have this salsa? No, like, you know, you've this been to the restaurant. Yeah. I change them daily. That's true. So, you always have new ones. Yes. All right. So I'm just going to keep chopping. And now this is the final? No, that's actually, I brought you a different oh, green. That one? is cucumber <gasps> with uh, tiltepin oh. and arugula. So Ooh. go right ahead while I finish this, this one. one. And what other salsas do we have right here? That one is a mango with a little bit of chipotle. Uh, our good old friend, mm. banana habanero. Yum. And then tomatillo with chile huero. Ooh, that's really refreshing with the cucumber. See? All right, so this is kind of the final if you want to chop yes. it up. It'll look like this or blender to make it a You can do it in a blender. This is like more um, fun, just get messy. Yeah. But like this with the nice steak or... Um, the corn. The corn, the uh, corned beef or uh, anything actually, because it doesn't have a, you know, yeah, a you name. Yeah, you could put it on anything. So well, if you guys want to get this recipe, head over to our website, kvoa.com.